Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are benchmarking the Xiaomi Redmi Note. Now this is the 4G variant, which comes with Snapdragon 400 quad-core processor. Let's go with the specs. You have the same 5.5-inch HD IPS display available here as well. A quad-core Snapdragon 400 clocked at 1.6 GHz, Adreno 305 GPU, 2 GB of RAM, about 5.7 GB of internal storage available, a 13 megapixel primary camera, and a 5 megapixel front camera is also there. The back camera is capable of recording 1080p videos. There's a 3100mAh battery and you have a plethora of sensors including an accelerometer. You have your proximity sensor, light sensor. You also have inbuilt motion sensors available too. Now this is a USB OTG pen drive. I'll just plug that into the device. And you can see right there that it has been detected. So USB OTG is supported right out of the box. And you can simply jump into the explorer from right here. Going into USB storage. I'll just play a video for you so that you can see 1080p video playback as well as USB OTG support. So you can see right there, flawless video playback. It's smooth. There is no lag here. And you can seek through the player by just scrolling on the display, increase, decrease brightness, or even lower the volume, quite like MX Player in that aspect. Now let's start with the benchmarks. The first one we are going to run is Antutu. We are running the full benchmark here as well. It's been fast forwarded to get to the results quickly. So we got an Antutu score of 22204, which is a very good score for this chipset. Considerably lower than the Redmi Note 3G, which bears an Octa-Core MediaTek chipset. But nevertheless, these are synthetic benchmarks. Performance will be seen later on. Now we are running the Quadrant benchmark, full benchmark here as well. So we got a score of 11425, which is considerably higher than the likes of the Moto G2, Asus Zenfone 5, and similar to the Alcatel Vantage Flash. Now we are running the Nena Mark 2 benchmark. It's a graphics benchmark. It gave us a score of 57.3 FPS, which does seem to indicate that high-end games would be playable on this device. Now we are going to run the Velamo HTML5 chapter. This has been fast-forwarded as well. It will run Sun Spider as well as Octane. We got a score of 1965, which is a great score for this chipset and higher than most of the smartphones available in this particular price bracket. Now we are running the Metal chapter of Velamo. It will specifically test the processing capabilities of the phone. And you got a score of 877, which is a brilliant score for this particular chipset. And considering the Moto G2 has the same chipset, clocked a bit lower, this is a very high score. Now we are running the Linpack benchmark. We got a score of 492.45. Again, a very good score for this particular chipset. And finally, now we are running the multi-touch test. I have six fingers, all are detected. And you can see that this is a 10-point multi-touch display that's available right here. Well, folks, that was a benchmarking review of the Redmi Note 4G. In terms of value for money and specs, as well as performance, it easily beats the Moto G as well as the Asus Zenfone 5. We'll be back with more. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Any questions, hit us in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.